Hey guys, it's me again with the HTC HD2 and I've made a new discovery once again and I am going to share it with you guys. Right? And it's an app actually. It's not, you know, a new ROM or anything, but it's an app called Titanium Backup. This yellow one right here. And what it is, it backs up all your apps all your settings everything down to the wire um, your messages um, settings that you have in settings like Wi-Fi settings Bluetooth settings everything but I mean everything I mean everything now just go into the market right anybody knows how to do that um, you go and type in a uh, titanium backup Type in titanium backup, voila, and it searches, and they have a paid version and a free version. I'm using the free version right now, for right now, and I'm going to buy the paid version just to support the uh, developers who made this app because it is very, very, very good. Like, I say this is the best app in the Android market of all time. For real. and it has five stars you can see so we all know how to download an app download that you know see the reviews are all good whatever and um, once you install it you will have something like this right it'll just run some scans you have to have um super cr crusher or whatever that thing is called on here and granted permissions to use and once you do so you'll be here you have all these new gizmos all these stuff and um, it'll ask you a question of something I forgot what it says but you just can either say no thanks or just say okay and it'll just run something really quick and then you'll be here so this app saves all your apps that cannot be saved to your storage card to your storage card. So if let's say Angry Birds wasn't able to be saved to my SD card, by using this app it will force it and make it so it will be saved on the SD card and not just your phone's natural memory. You know? So you can just go to backup or restore and you can just check out all the um, apps that you've backed up and whatever right oops um, now you can just press the menu button right wait until that thing pops away okay menu button and press batch go to batch calculating scenarios and then it tells you what you can do like verify your backups backup apps and it tells you backup all your user apps plus system data apps and a bunch more stuff then they have restore so the difference between backup and restore some people may not know is that when you're backing up stuff it's you're saving up all of your apps that you have on your phone right everything that you have on your phone restore is when you say get a new phone and you just restore the apps back onto the phone or you have a new ROM you restore it back to the ROM so it'll be able so it'll be saved on it so if you're like me who you know have a different ROM every other day you can just back it up now right without having to get a new ROM and re-download every single app you had before you just back it up here on your previous uh, ROM and then download the app again on your new ROM and restore it just go to restore apps with data and restore it everything all your apps will be right back where it was and it's like you never changed ROMs well you did but you have a new system but um, 
yeah so they have uninstall manipulate data freeze defrost all these other things and delete backups so you can just pretty much just run it it'll bring you through this process it's really easy it's not hard um, I really think this is like the best Android app ever on the market because I don't know what I would do without this app. I probably wouldn't even change ROM as much. But now that I found it, I'll be changing like crazy. Alright, so they have schedules where you are, well the app will just restore or not restore but back up new apps and newer version of the apps. So you Let's say there's an app for your weather there's an update for your weather app um and it gets updated today and whenever your scheduled day is it will re-back it up because it's a newer version of the app by itself so mine will start at 3 a.m on sunday i just enabled it and at the bottom it'll tell you when the next action is and it is tomorrow today Saturday so yeah that's how that works and you can add a new schedule reload schedules and yeah set it to almost any day you want and this again is what you seen earlier we're just all the um, apps that you've restored so this app is pretty simple to use It's not hard remember when you get the app just press the menu button go to batch Once it does that, you go down to back up all user apps and system data, you click run. I already backed everything up. I don't want to do it all over again because I have 92 apps. That's a lot. So, uh, yeah. And redo, force, force redo of your backups. You can do that, you know, and restore. Remember, when you want to restore an app, you go to restore all system data, all apps with data, or restore all system data. Whichever one you want, it's up to you. But I would do the bottom one, which is basically everything. So, yeah, this is how this app works. It's pretty simple. It's not hard. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I certainly do. It helps me out a lot. And, um... Please, please give them a donation, something, a little donation or anything, because this is a really good app. Um, it's like the best. So once you get it, just mess around with it, see what things you can find around, see anything new. It even tells you how much space you have. See SD card, I got 10 gigs, internal 56 megabits. It's not a lot. So... That's why I got this app, because if I didn't have it, I wouldn't have any space left. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, remember, it's Titanium Backup. Um, if you have any problems, anything, just leave a comment. I will write back to you as soon as I get the comment. I'm always efficient on that. And... Um, any concerns, anything you guys want to talk about, any ROMs you hear of, anything, just write it in the comments and I will reply back. Thank you for watching. Rate, rate the video if you want. Do whatever. Um, thanks.